Chris is commenting about this setup in the background and you won't be able to hear him but this is a well, according to the bag it's called a tax man oh it's called a tax man tax man no I think it's a symbol of an axe it's called an axe man compressors look how much it can compress right down and more than that there's loads of air in it so anyway let's go I don't know how to put this up, but um, I'm just doing a bit of a guesstimate for a sec. <laughs> you could use two poles on this as well, but I think I'll just use one. Oh yeah, look at that, Chris. There's loads of room in there. Two pole one, yeah. But you can also look. You can also do it one pole. No way. Yes way. That's gonna fall down. It is gonna fall down, but that's what you use the guy ropes for. But I think if you use two poles, you don't have to use. Worry about the guy ropes. Yeah. Two poles. I wouldn't want to do this in the wind for the first time. Is that?
Lee, you slept down here in a single skin tent, remember? Yeah, right. Could have flipped and died. It'd be fine, what you want about? Right, so that's obviously too high. That's too high. Damn it, poles are too high. Yeah. Oh, that's more like it. will be there's loads of room you want about massive man humongous yeah what are you going to do rocks after you look? I told you inside inside what are you going to do then? 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 fucking stones in the ground everywhere Huh? Yeah. Rubbish. It will be when I adjust everything. Yeah, man. Let's get in there. I've never done it before, have I? Well, do you think I'd take this, take this, take this away, Ross? Next question? How many? 
There's not enough. Come on, then, enough point, bro. Yeah. Well, what do you expect you buy a tea bag of mountain? This is the gear top. It's actually it's saying make is yours. It's the axe men on the side. Shut up. It's, yeah, it's. Ooh. Right, shut up now, do me then. Sleeping in that. <laughs> oh, it's just a they're like a tarp tent, that's all it is. That's not a tarp tent. Pyramid tarp tent, what are you on about? Job done man. Dickhead. A bloody bigger than your stupid little bloody figure you got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's not enough guys. Shut up, I ain't an experienced camper. Well, I know that. Flipping first time I've ever bloody done a, a tent like this. Of course, this is perfect there, you know? Yeah, I yeah. am. Because of the other way, isn't it? There's one on the other side, there isn't one on this side, that's why I'm doing it like this. For now. It's probably a bit tired now, surely. I'm going to tighten it up. I don't want to break it like I did my nature right one when I flipped and tightened it up too hard and I've never done it before. Not be nice. Five more tent pegs. Yeah, he just told the told you I ain't got enough tent pegs. Put two in one there, put two in one. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to bodge it like this because it's too long. Mate, right? right? I know what you're saying, right? I'm just wondering whether I can make that. That's how it's designed to be like that, I doubt it, but. Yeah. See how much it stretch inside because that maybe that's how it works. No instructions. Don't need the instructions, man. Instructions doing, uh, don't need instructions. Destructions, instructions, you need them. Uh, no 
way that leaks back there like that. Ah. Twenty-five million. Twenty-five million. Yeah. Well, that's a good way there. Huh? That's a good way now, wouldn't it? Well, we'll find out tonight, won't we? Oh, it's a good fish there. Oh, if it rains caps and dogs, with a few fluffy uniforms in between. Well, we got, never got wet last time, did we? I was in that little two-man tent. No, one-man tent. You got high hopes, have you? High hopes. Yeah. Two hopes. Bob hope, no hope. I don't know how to sort that out. And do you know what? Right in this minute, I ain't got the patience either. So I'm just going to do that. Just let it be foldy downy, I don't care. Are you getting on, Chris? You struggling there? No, I'm not struggling, Ken. You're not struggling, no? No, no I'm not struggling, Ken. You're not struggling there, Chris? No? No. no. Are you sure? Not at all. Sure about that? Yeah, absolutely positive. I think yeah. that's a nice size hoop. Yeah, yeah, I think you're struggling there. I don't know what I've got to do. That piece of crap tent you've got. No, crap tent. Yeah. What's wrong with it? How much did you pay for it? I paid £100 for it. How thing. much? £100? You lying little toe rag there, about £147. No, £110. Where did you get it from? Uh, Amazon. Oh, you got from Amazon. Amazon. And the ground's a bit hard, isn't it, Ken? Yeah, but you've got to put it in that angle, Chris. It's got stones about two inches down. Wow. Well, Otherwise, you're going to bend all your pegs. There we go. Poor someone's put their tent right next to mine. No. What are you doing? Put your tent there. Don't put it next to mine. Put it flipping out of the way, man. Put it out of the way. You prick. Put it out of the way. He knows he snores. He's put his tent right next to he's it's, right. it's not all right at all how many times have we been here chris the same place like talking about snoring and you putting your tent next to you put your tent next to more door to mine on purpose to piss me off no that's not it's sound travels i can't park over there because your car is in the way yeah have a look there tent to chandrum tent to chandrum hey liam right Go and get this cheap tent up. Stop cheap, mincing. It's not cheap. It's not a quality of that material. It's rubbish. Up to mine. Yeah, you're struggling, aren't you? Yeah, I do need a mallet, mate. No, you're not using a mallet. No mallets. No Timmies around here. That looks so cheap up to your... Tempest. Your Tempest, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be out in a storm in that. Get on with you. The midges are coming out. No midges here. Midges are coming out. Yeah, look at that. Look at how thin that pole is. Look at look at that. I ain't meant to do that. How's it going to stretch? Then? How's it going to stay up? Well, it ain't meant to flex like that. It's meant to be circular. You got done there, Chris. Look, cheap. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> what the hell's happening there? Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to stay. I wouldn't want to spend a night in this one, Chris. That's why it was 110. You got a cheap one. You got one with the wrong poles on. Yeah, you got the wrong one, mate. Yeah, what's he doing down there? Look. Oh, yeah. That don't look. That don't look too clever, to be honest. You sweating? 
I am not swearing. Mr. Grumpy puffing already? Puffing. He'll be knackered out by the time he finishes this. He'll have a sleep. You wait and see. You done this before, Chris? No. I'm going to have a break in a minute. Well, you better hurry up because the battery's going to run out. No, I'll be all right. Carl, you've been about 20 minutes already, man. Well, I'm working on it, mate. I'm working on it. Are you working on it, are you? I am, yeah. Because it's not pegged got, out with got any spare guy rope? Yeah, I've got two right guy ropes. <laughs> I think the other one wants to come out more. The ground is stony. I've got to get a brick in a minute. Give it a good old thump. I think I've got a lot more for my tent for my money. You've got a lot more room? I've got a lot more room. Talking of. Talking about room, I better do my fly sheet up, stop the uh, insects getting in because the midges are coming out. But it's the same as the tent, but it's, same, it's the same tent, but slightly different. <laughs> you don't need a brick. Chris, put them in an angle. I told you the stones. You, you, oh, you don't listen. Under the turf, they're about three inches down, maybe two inches down. It's stony. I guess for drainage. So instead of doing what I advised, that was put it in shallow at an angle, he just wants to smash them in with a rock. You're gonna damage them. It's not damaged. It's not tight enough, look. Shit. <sighs> Rubbish. Shut up. Now you know what it feels like. That tent's crap, Chris. You wanna get a better poly you wanna get a better tent than that, mate? I wouldn't bother with that one. I wouldn't bother myself. Stay with that, right? Well, I've got four pegs left. Uh, for the guy ropes? Front door. For the guy ropes? No. You, where's your guy ropes? Well, I've got two guy ropes. We should have four. We should have at side. least four guy ropes. One on the side here. You should have, look at that, that's just quality, look at that, look. Hang on, leave it alone. Look at that, that is just really, really, really impressed. Did you read the instructions? No, I didn't. Same as you. I knew what I was doing. Ah, it's not tight enough. <laughs> Look at the side! Look at the side! <laughs> it won't. Once you've got the guy lines on, it'll be fine. Just get the guy lines out. They ain't looking good, they poles. Good, you might have to get some better quality ones. They might. <laughs> What's that? Oh, the inner tent. That's your strings order. No, they're probably folded up in with that lot. Turn around separately. You put your tent on top of them then? I don't think so. Well, they'd be there. Well, they're not going to blow in the wind, are they? No. Put it on the air then. Under the tent? Doing cheap zips. Lightweight, innit, Chris? Don't yeah. just don't. Don't open it fast, that's waterproof zips that is. Material's nice, still tart that is, look. Really nice. Lightweight. Look at the room in there, Chris. That is roomy, man. But where is my co-ropes? Uh, did I put them on my tent? <laughs> Where's your guy ropes, Chris? 
Roll your backpack over. They're in one of your pockets, man. Chris has lost his guy ropes and we ain't gone nowhere, so I don't know why. He's got uh, in his pocket, like I said, in his pockets. Oh, you know everything about tents. I go on the front of you, don't you? Only two. And then to the back of all. No, no, I didn't trip over my my guy rope. No, I didn't. I didn't break and damage my tent last time by tripping over the guy rope. No, no, not at all, Stuart. If you're watching all of this, Stuart, I, if you're watching all of this, Stuart, I just not, I did not just trip over my guy rope like I did last time and tear my tent. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Just two. That's what I got. Yeah. Well, you thought it would be someone on the back. I don't know mate, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I thought it'd be more on mine. I was sleeping with my door open tonight anyway, it's so warm. I was not quite as impressive as I thought it was gonna be. It's alright. What's that about now? Obviously what where? we want to do corner flaps, I see. Right, okay. You can change the configuration of the door. Yeah, does it zip down from that the top? Two, and no. You can have corner ones up instead. That's right, you can. Yeah, I've seen that. How are you feeling about this, Chris? Um, well, I don't know until I get the inner rim, mate. Um, I'm putting up speed. I still prefer Tempest. Tempest is still nicer than this one. Durability wise. Yeah, but this is still tarp. The, 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 the Tempest is not. But if this was a if this was um uh, if this was an expensive mountaineer in ten, it'd cost you eight hundred quid. Mm. So that's a difference, isn't it, between hundred quid and eight hundred quid? True. That's what I love about cheap tents. You can have five of them. <laughs> Not like we got mountains, is it? In the snow and wild wind and all that. You just go out, have a laugh with your mate. Sandra, if you're watching this, look at this, look. This is for Sandra, the battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna be quick. Sandra, check this out. <laughs> yeah, Sandra, eh, hey, hey, hey. So it doesn't matter how you put that in, I'm gonna change it. What's that door done, man? Right, I'm gonna swap batteries a sec before everything dies. Right, we're back with a fresh battery. Let's have a look. Chris is inside his tent. Oi! Is there enough for a young lady in there, Chris? Yes, there would be room for a definitely large lady as well. A large, are you looking on the large ladies recently, are you? Well, to match the attire. Been there and seen him done it. <laughs> I know you have. So I thought, well, <laughs> you can't have the right size tent. <laughs> you can't just go around with these little itty bitty tents <laughs> trying to get your booty. <laughs> uh, flimsy man. Oh, I see your backside, man. Disgusting. Blech. Right, let's stop this a minute. I don't. I don't need to stop it. Right. So this tent. So we've got tape seams. Um. Tape seams, good thin bug net. That looks pretty good for the midges. Ground sheet's really thin, so I'm going to whack a just to protect it. Really, whack a um, whack, whack a cheap pound shop uh, ground sheet under that just to get a bit of protection. But uh, I'm quite impressed with that. I think I'm not sure because I don't know because I'm not. You know, I do this. This stuff is a hobby. It's a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun with my mates. So it's not like. 
I'm trying to do a proper review. No, I'm not. I don't really care. I just do it for a laugh. So, um, it's small inside, it is. So I'm going to get my mat, mat in there, which is going to raise me about four inches. And um, then I guess my head's going to rub on the fly sheet all night. Um, apart from that, I like it. It's nice and light. I like it. But I think, to be honest, so far, I'm thinking that I would rather have um, a quick pop. Not pop-up, but a quick, like, um, like one of those little um, Naturite tents. Um, one man one. Or, or even, but the poles broke on it, a little Van Gogh NX100, something like that. That just flies up. So, a bit concerned about this in bad weather, how difficult it would be. But, it's good so far. Uh, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's a bit of a laugh. So I'm going to put the ground sheet in and I'm going to come back with the, with the, 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 the air mat and the, the um, sleeping bag. Oh, stuttering, man. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. How are you getting on, Chris? I'm finished, mate. Are you finished, have I you? Finished, Let's yeah. have a look. Let's have a look inside. I think for £110, I think we've been a bit done. Look at that. That's loads of room, man. There is loads of room. Loads. That's a free, isn't that a free man? That's a two man. That looks like a free man. And I'm wondering whether my tortoise is a little bit out on the top there. It'll be right when you adjust it. Maybe put some more, uh, start sweating. Yeah. Get, get some more guy ropes on it. I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit concerned about the, this here. The poles. This, I, I, yeah, I think there's not enough. Poles. I think they're a little bit too long. That's why they're flexed like that. They're very thin, Chris. Yeah. Um. I don't think you'd be in for a windy night. Oh yeah, stay up, Chris. We've been down here gale force winds in cheap tents, and it stays up. Maybe that's is that? No. Yeah, I think your poles are too long. The poles, the poles need trimming. Look, that's just too. That's why that's why it's going all over the place. Mm. And then that that really could do with something put up there, couldn't it? Yeah, that's more like an inner than that. Over. No, no, that's because that's that's that, that's the, yeah, that's it's better steep. for wind. Yeah. That is a bit weird. So, what's your rating then, Chris? Um, I prefer my Tempest. I have to be honest, because I like a tort tent. Um, for size. Excellent for putting up. Hmm. I reckon you bought a three man. No, it's a two man, mate. So we'll see it. So you could set it to me for fifty quid then? No, I'm gonna use it. It's not too bad. It's just, it just doesn't seem very tore in the middle here. Uh. That's where I left it down. That's where the tempest would have been tight there. Mm. Yeah. There's just not, not nothing on the back here. I think it'd do with one guy rope put through there. Yeah. Pulling that back and, one, and putting on that here. forward. Two on here, pulling it back. Yeah. It'd be better. Yeah. That's where it fucked up. It, it's putting a plug rope in. It is a bit sloppy, isn't it? Yeah, sloppy. Sloppy seconds. You're it's, used it's to that anyway. Tent. It's what it is. It's a summer tent. That's quite tight. The lightweight summer tent. It's not meant for seasons. Uh, it's okay, but um, not as it's got plenty of room, but not as impressed as I, I would be with Van Gogh. Um, I'm gonna, if I had to stay to save me money again, I wish wish I'd gone and got another Van Gogh, Van Gogh Tempest. No, you can't have the same tent twice. Whatever, that nah, it's okay. Let's have a look inside. So waterproof zips keep the rain out. A freeway door, whichever way you want to set it up. <laughs> How much room? Yeah, just there, just there. Do you mind? I'm filming here. Yeah, well, you can do what you're doing. I'm chatting away, man. Look, now you just made me bash me thing. So that's the inside. <sighs> you got a thing here. Look, you can hang a torch from. If I could do it with one hand, because I'm being a bit of a div. Well, hey, there you go. So it looks all right, Chris. Yeah. Loads of room in there. So. Oh, there's a man here. He brought us some free wood. Look, well done. 
Hello mate, hello oh. mate. Let's have it, let's have it then, I'll throw it. Let's have it. Oh. You gonna let me throw the ball? No, no. <laughs> See ya. Oh, yeah, don't you break my chairs, Fatty. Fatty's just broke my chair. Quick, give me One leaves. Have you broken? Oh, I don't believe it. I said to Chris, I said, take it easy with my chairs. Don't break them. So what did he do? He didn't do it on purpose. He just sat down and he just broken my chair. Now, like, these were matching, Chris. These were two for six quid, Chris, and you had to break them. Two for six pound? Maybe two for eight pound. I can't believe it. You're, you're, you're on your ass now, Chris. You could bodge that up, I reckon. Look what he's done. He's complaining now. He thinks he could have died. That could have, that could have gone right in the wrong place and stabbed you. Now, Chris, Chris, have you seen how big your belly is? Look, look how big he is. Look at the size of that. Look, a lot of people want bellies like this. They do not want bellies. They be want bellies like this, mate. There are times of hardship, yeah? You gotta, it's you not gotta, really a belly, it's a, a, it's, it's a security stab vest. Yeah. It's a Kevlar, Kevlar, it's a Kevlar bulletproof, shotgun proof, stab proof, stomach, some, stomach, stomach, <laughs> you should just see the sit on the floor, his face. So, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, Chris, Chris is on the floor now, look. Yeah, he's on the floor. So, so, uh, he's not impressed with his tent. I'm impressed with mine. 40 quid mine was. How much is your tent? 110. 147? 110. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be very happy if I paid 150 quid for that. So you paid 110 for that. And you, remember when we come down here and I had my nature hike, the green one, and you were going, oh, I wouldn't pay 99 pound for that. Is better than that. So I'm gonna get off. We're gonna get off now. I'm gonna load me uh my tent. I'm gonna cut so much of this. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, I got my mat in. I think uh, I'm not sure the best. I think that you go go in that way. Put your head down there. Mm -hmm. But I think I'd sleep better if my head was this way. So I set it up this way. So I got my gonna have my head there and my feet down there. That that's that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna come back when I put the sleeping bag in. Cheers. Alright, I'm gonna get in the tent now and see how much room we've actually got. Um, not a lot, but it is what it is, isn't it? Like I said before. Here we go. Definitely don't like the idea. Definitely don't like just there on the table. Water's on the table. I definitely don't like the idea of getting in that way. That's wrong. So I'm going to get in this way. Yeah. I set my pillow up down the other end because um, I don't want to sleep down this end because I can feel myself waking up in the night and being like, ah. So, oh my days. So, uh, Oh, yeah, there's definitely Lo loads of room, loads of room. There's no room. There is absolutely loads of room in here. There's loads of room in here, man. You could, you could, you could get a young lady in here, would you? There's loads of room, yeah. Absolutely. There you go, look. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if the poles are collapsing in the middle of the night, but they just collapsed then when I moved one. And I'll tell you why, because I didn't take the foot off of the one on this side, which is the side you can't get to. So I'm going to have to take the foot off, put the spike in the ground. But yeah, it's good. I like it. I really like it. But um, I'm sleeping around the other way. So that is my kind of tent review for the daytime. I'll let you know how we get on in the morning. And uh, for this bit, I'll see you later. I got to open them flats as well because I'm sweating.
but it's only it's only the first of October. I mean, it's the fourth. Of, it's the fourth. Oh, oh my goodness! It's the fourth of September, so it's still quite warm. And uh, Omar, if you're watching this, happy birthday, mate! Twenty today. Yeah, man. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. We've been playing around with, with Chris's tent for about an hour. So, if you look at mine, it's just taut. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's uh, it's not far from being perfect. And what the hell is going on with this thing? Oh, I might damaged it. And uh, so Chris is. Uh, um, not impressed. It's the worst. Have you fixed your tent yet, Chris? It's broken. What do you mean broken? <laughs> it's, it's it's very slack. If you take a look on the tent and not on me, have a look on the tent. Uh, I'm just going to say it's um, don't buy one. Just don't buy one. Save yourself the trouble. Don't talk too loud. I'm filming down there. Sorry. Don't buy one. Thanks, mate. Don't buy one. Save yourself the trouble. It's a waste of money. <coughs> oh shit! As you can see, it's very flappy. There's no supports, no guide ropes, bar for two supplies with it. Um, <laughs> it looks like it's falling over. Yeah. Take some pictures of it. That can't be right. That just can't be right. Because that's not what it looked like in the picture. No? No. What it didn't look like that. What it looked like in the picture. Well, that's terrible, isn't it? It's um, it's very saggy. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem proportionally very very well designed. Uh, the door is a nightmare and um, basically it's, uh, how can I say, um, designed very poorly. Gear top, I'm sorry, this one's a definite thumbs down for me. Four miners hiking boots from me. Don't buy it. We're burning it. Burn it, Chris. Burn it. 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 Got the matches? You don't you be damaging my tent pegs. Got the matches? So Mr. Grumpy is happy with his new tent. It is proper flappy dappy. Look at this, look. Wind oh. blow wind blow. I don't think I made any difference to the tent pegs that way. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. You filming that? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Look, it's lifting off, look. I'm watching what's in the blue sea. Waves on it. It's lifting off, look. There's too, if you ask me, there's too much material up top. There's too much material here. Look at that, it's going to be torqued. You can't get it torqued unless you've got a fucking up here. The globe is situated in the wrong place. Buy cheap, buy twice, eh? Yeah, they could have done, I've done a better job with a, a cover over the top. Buy cheap, buy twice. Mark of the North, it's nothing like your North Face, is it? You know? I've got a stinking cold, by the way. Right, I'm going now. Chris is uh, not happy. He's gonna. We're gonna get the other tent out. We're gonna sort. Uh, we're gonna review that one. Um, no, actually, we're out of the house. Before. He's out of the house. Stop messing up the video. Here we go. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did I mess up the video? Yeah. So, in our opinion, then we've looked at the gear top two tunnel man tent, and uh, we've decided that it's a bit of a web lid less. Doesn't really work that well. Bit like that. Bit belly. like that one down here. Yeah. Belly, Doesn't look. get a lot of work. No, not that. Oh, oh that. about oh, the belly. What about the belly? So uh, we've looked at it, and uh, in comparison to other tents, we used to have uh, the little clip-ons here with the, the poles. There's no such thing on these. We're losing a kilogram in weight because it's only 1.7. But as you can see, there's a lot of there's no tornus. So if we put a little bit of guide rope here, we should be able to get a tornus. But as you can see, we're only supplied with two with two little tether points here. So how do we do it? Gear top, what are you doing to us? We pay, you know, pay good money for a reasonable tent and we've ended up with a wet lid for us. So yes, let her in a post to uh, gear top, I think. We'll see what happens. 
thing, thing is, you can give it Johnny Big Balls and all that, right? But £110 for a tent, you haven't really got much to complain about, have you? If you spent £800 on a tent, then you've got lots to complain about. But of course, Mr Grumpy, he got to have something to complain about. I must say, it is saggy, look. Would you want to sleep in a tent like that? Would you want to sleep in a tent like that? Would you? Would you pay £110 for a saggy, wet, limp tent? I bet you paid £110, I for, paid £110 for a £110 saggy, limp, wet something tent. else yeah. before and not been satisfied. With. Well, uh, we can't say anything about that on camera. You've been in Amsterdam, can't... have you? I've been in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't, not yet. Look at the state of that. Gear top, get your act together. Get your act together, gear top. Right, Mr. Grumpy's got his second tent to review. It is a gear top four season tent with snow skirts. And I, I've actually owned one and it was all right, but I sold it. Um, it was really warm actually, but anyway, let's go over to Mr. Grumpy. So, this is the uh, gear top. Uh, not to be confused with the wet with limp lettuce gear top tunnel tent too. This is the Gear Top Four Season Man Tent. You haven't tried that one yet. I've not tried it yet. It's a ratio ratio of weight on this one. It's about 3.7, I do believe. So it's quite a hefty bad packing job. No, it's not, is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So let's have a look see what we got for our money then. All right. Then. If it's any better than the wet lint leather. I, I had one of these, and it's easy to put up without putting it up. And what I will say is, once you've erected it, erected. just keep the inner tent in with the yeah, the fly sheet, the and then next time it just goes up really quick as well. So. Well, you, First off the bat, I'm impressed. You're we impressed? Got, we got instructions, which got, we didn't have on the last one. We didn't one. have on the last one. No, you we got, didn't have You've got destructions, have you? Destructions. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. alias manual. Yeah. A nice bundle. Yeah. What I coming out. Yeah. Complete with rainbow strap. All right, for all the hippies. Yeah. Quality, that's quality. I like that. That's you quality. like that? You like yeah, that? You're going to take that off and use it on your pots, isn't I you? I am, yeah. Yeah, I know what you like. So we're going for the whole build session, are we? Yeah. Yeah, the old erection. Yeah, two erections in one. Got, then. Poles. Quality, quality bag. Again, we got. That's looking better quality. Is We've it? actually got a strap there Is which it? holds all the poles together instead of those tie-on oh, straps. All oh, right. Let's have a look at the quality of our poles. Yes, they seem to be a bit more stouter, a bit more rigid than the gear top two tunnel tent wet lid nepis. <laughs> <laughs> the wet wonder. So let's have a look. The wobbly wonder, is it, Chris? Yeah, these look a bit torque. They look stronger, yeah? They do look stronger. Yeah, because they are stronger. And it's a nice flashing colour job on it. Yeah. Oh, you are the one, one pole. gold. <sighs> We might be on a winter chicken dinner here with a better tent than the last one. Still gear top and got my money now. I spent a lap all the way to the bank. I'm sure they're going to rip off quite a few more customers. You're a gear top fan then, Chris? Not a gear top fan at the moment, Ken, as it stands. I'm hoping that this tent will redeem my faith in gear top. Although I do own one of <coughs> Bless you. Oh. I do believe I do own one of their bivvies, which we did a review on a few years ago. Which got apatone, apatone written on. Yes, they do tend to... Oh, oh God, I've got a miniature jock strap holder. <laughs> What's that for? That goes in the middle of the tent. Oh, it's on the inside. Yeah, I've been using that. Oh. I've got a selection of tent pegs. Are any good? Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Let's have them out on the floor. Hang on, I can't see. There we go. That's in guide rooms. They've actually supplied some, some very flashy guy ropes. I do believe they're a day glow. So that's one of our stuff cuts out. Let's have a rubbish out for a later thing. Tidy as we go. Keep your tent site camp. Keep your camp site tent right. site. So, I do believe we put the outer one on this one first. You can work it out. I seriously need to blow my nose, ring in. Oh. Just to let you know that he is going to really moan when he's putting this up. Um, so, all the poles, apart from one, is uh, shorter. Oh. I'm dying. Let's see. I reckon there's two 
long one, one short one, so... the first back with gear top I'm not happy with their uh, their sleeving because this tends to have holes in it yeah so and, the wind uh, can go through it the wind goes through it but also when you're pushing your temp peg through what happens have a look Ken right at the top there what's happening yeah. it's catching on it you like to complain don't you Mr Grumpy it's catching on it look Mr Grumpy can I insert that in there like Mr Grumpy no. likes to complain on a normal sleeve that would fly through oh, no what? problem oh I want a van on a cheap ass van go yeah Oh, it's happened oh, again. It's, it's happened again. Hang on, you're going to break it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's not happy, is he? He ain't happy. There we go. One pole in, yeah? <laughs> I'll let the cameraman sort his moves out. Yeah, on, live on camera. Oh, you're not messing up the angles here. No, no, not at all. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're messing, up the you're messing up the angles, Chris. So what about that angle? What about that angle, Chris? Again, pole problems. Pole problems. This is not what you went on a wet day when you got rain pilling down on your back. It's not pole problems. It's never wrong with that. You're just being grumpy. So what do we do next, then? Well, you work it out. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Do we read the instructions? Well, maybe you put one corner in and then you put the other corner in. Uh, Duh. 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 So, Dre, Mr. Cameraman, you can get the other pole in? No, because that's your job. Because oh. I'm going to stand here and take the piss. Ah, I see. That's why you want to do the camera work. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So, two poles in. Two poles in. To the other end, where we cut. And we are ripping sides. Here we go. Get ready for the break. Get ready for the breaking sound. Just let you know, I snapped my pole doing this. Did you? Yeah, first time I'd done it. I gaffer taped out and then bought some new poles. Then sold it. Well, that went in quickly. Oh, that easy. went all right. Oh, yeah, no no hard. moaning from that. No moaning? No, that was hard. Happy daffy. Okay. So, last pole. No, mo no moaning about that bit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, He's, uh, he's, he's looking good at the moment. I, he, he's not got his face. I'm expecting a bit more for this because I paid a, a hundred and forty odd pound for this one. Yeah, I pay, that's what I paid for mine. One four yeah. seven, I think. But you sold yours? Yeah, I sold mine. I used it once and sold it for a hundred quid. So we've got one last little pole. I like the look of it so far. It looks a bit Eskimo. Wait till the wait till you uh, wait wait for the insects. That's all I can say. So. How is this going? What, what's have going you, on now? Have you put the other side in? Yeah, so. We seem to have uh, what? one it, little pocket sleeve, yeah. a large pocket sleeve, and a little pocket sleeve. So I take it, it's up and over. Get a pain in the ass. How does this work? Oh, please. Well, that just pulled that out there and put it in there, innit? Put it back. Cool, I need one at half half a brain to do that. I ain't got a brain. Well, I just messed up the film in there. Oh, no. Right, it goes in like that, right? See, gets us in the holes again. What, are you whinging? Go I on. am whinging, yeah. That comes from Super Winger. There we go, look. Not liking this design. Oh, you're complaining. What are you doing, Chris? I don't Look, know. Just I'll grab the camera, you do it. No, I just your no, because I take the piss out of you doing it. Will you tell me how I'm supposed to go in there? Oh my god, hang on, don't force it. You undo this one for undo this one a bit. Hey, go in. We'll do that. You go in. Yeah, only because I'm helping you. Get your finger out. I mean get your finger in. I don't know what you're on about, weirdo. When I get it in the hole, Chris, put it in the hole. You know how to get it in the hole or not? I can't find the hole. He's got the hole. He's got the hole. This is when you break the tent. He's got that side in. Uh. 
Look at that beauty. So, first stage complete. Again, let's have a little look at my last last tent, the, the yeah. wet lint there. Let's come and have a look. Yeah, but, look, look. but it's a free season tent. Yeah, but look, free season. Boy, free. A, look, 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 look. Free. Made by the same company. Free season, Chris. Made by the same free company. Season. Yeah. But look, free season. We've got cords on this, yeah. Oh, uh, you've got no cords on no yours? No cords on this, yeah. On the four season. No cords. How yeah. am I supposed to get them out of the ground? I'd be careful because you ri I cut my hand right open on one of them. And, type and, excuse me if I'm wrong, but is yours not a gear top as well? I'm just saying, uh, Chris is moaning, but those, these here, let's have these. See these here, all right? I cut my hand right open on these and there's no, there's no pull on them. So, uh, and the funny thing is, on Chris's new tent, he's got the same tent pegs as mine. They're both gear tops. He's got pulls on his, and I ain't got pull cords on mine. So just be careful with these, because you cut your hands right so open. Your, your tent's a gear top as well? Yeah. So how come they've got their logo on your tent then? How come your 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 your, your tent pegs were supplied with yours, which have the dinky little hole in them for the guide ropes, they can't, they can't be bothered to put a bit of thing. Gear top, are you axe man? Are you gear top? Are you making the same stuff all together? Because I've got no idea. It seems you've got too many companies doing too much. This is great for Mr. Grumpy's, uh, Mr. Gr Mr. Grumpy's channel. It's improvised. He's improvising. I mean, are you making 10 pegs, you know, for, for one tent individually, or is it a standard alone kind of thing that I do? All those people that are watching are going to complain about this. What, mate? Just carry on. Carry on and complain. Buy your 800 pound tents, go camping in the campsite in your 800 pound tents and complain on our channel. Go on. So this one's got a skirt. Give me quite a few tent pegs, Ken. <laughs> yeah, it comes out like the other one. So, uh, uh you see your backside again, it's disgusting. Well, I know I've got a beautiful back, but. I feel sick. Really? So while he's uh, while he's moaning and complaining about his tent, let me go. And, let, me, let me just uh, show you the stream. Is that not lovely? I say it's lovely. Have you got any tent pegs in yet? No. Ooh, what's going on with this thing? There may be trouble ahead. How many tips for pegging out, Ken, for the viewers? Well, I would, what? Well, what should I do? First and foremost, I'd like to say that personally, when I put a tent out, I do every corner first, but uh, it's not happening, is it? Ooh. Right. You're taking a long time, Chris. I think you're supposed to go around that way, go right into the ground, which makes it impossible at a later date for me to get out. Nah. Use another tent peg to pull it out. Come on. Nah, there's no nothing to grab hold of. You should bring. Use another tent peg on the cutout bit to pull it out. Yeah. Now shear me wrist in the process. Come on, you're boring people now. How am I boring them? That's because you're boring. Let's but get let's get this job tent up. Nobody wants to watch a 50 minute erection. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, so the outer shell is now up. Is it? More or less. They didn't supply a mallet, Ken. What mallet for? Put the pegs in with. So what do I want a skirt for? Well, what do you buy a tent with a snow skirt for? Because I'm not going to be camping out in the snow. Well, <laughs> you bloody bought it. Yeah, but I thought it would be a good tent. It is a good tent. 
so right off the bat i see that here at top have done the same thing as the two-run tent right. just to give us a stupid bloody door design what pull it out not yeah the tent yeah two holes you aren't why even I you aren't even hole? i haven't put it out yet shut up get on with it why can't i just have the one stop. door Stop whinging. What was it? We got two whinging. It's just whinging. What's this about? Stupid. <laughs> it's a Oh. I've got a tent peg round the wrong way. It doesn't matter, it's only up for the night. It's slip. I quite like this tent actually. It's just a stupid colour. But it's an alpine tent, isn't it? So, so that, you oh, know, so get the, you, you get in the inside. trouble, you get in the trouble, the I'll helicopter can see you. Yeah, I'll be in trouble. Uh oh. Do you want to get two people in this? Yeah. Got two doors. Yes, How many people have all this? Wait till you wake up in the morning with the condensation, you're going to love it. No. Oh, a... It's a good tent, it's not whinging. Is it is in her outlet, is it? Oh my days. So how am I supposed to get into it then? Through the side, you idiot. From the side. Well I'll just put the tent pegs down oh, the door. Just shoot. Oh no you haven't. Here, I'll just ah there, there, see, look. That's what's fine. Yeah, it's called a fire down there. What, have you finished now? I've got that piece in, yeah. You're going inside now, Chris? No, we're going to have a break again. Yeah, what do you mean, no? You're right. having, a, having a break? Right, yeah. getting warm. Well, off the bat inside, I'm going to say it's a fairly decent space. Um, I'm not looking forward to actually uh, putting the inner in, but then again, I leave my inners in. So, uh, there we go. So, we're back. He's had his, um, he's had his cigarette. Put the inner in. Say that again, please. Bowels. You're going into the bowels of the tent yeah. to put the inner in. That's right, isn't it? Ladies. Bowels. Ladies, check that out. Disgusting. But can I squeeze in there or what? You want to get in as well? No, no, no. I just got it. I, yeah, sort, yeah, I, sort, yeah, I, sort, I don't want to go in. Just turn it around. Get what it around what you way. want to do is put the back end in first. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's different material than Paolo's. Yeah, this seems to be a bit more uh, durable. Hang on a minute. That's bloody different material. That, oh, you're going to sweat in that. That is not the same material. Well, it might be, but I don't think it is. That's, that's been upgraded. Or downgraded. Or downgraded. Top. It's more like a cotton feel. That's, that's, that's more like a breathable... That's more like a temperature, you're going to, that, oh my goodness. You might have a condensation pro problem in this. I've got high hopes. Uh, we, how does that song go? I don't know. How do I get to the toggles then? Well, how you've got, you've got to push it all up and then, yeah. Oh, I've fallen over here. I've fallen over, man. Coming back. <sighs> cool, look how many toggles we got. So, where's that thing supposed to go? With what? That thing's supposed to put in the middle. Oh, it's in the, in the inner tent. Put your glasses in or oh, camera, right. phone, oh, it's whatever. Gear store, is it? Gear, this is gear store, yeah. <sighs> Are you doing the fat bastard? Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. And a nice to see on this, this one. They've actually made some adjuster straps. See? Adjust. 
If you didn't get in the lip wet like this, which I'm not even being it at. But I'm liking this one. Um, major drawback. Major drawback? Is none at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no major drawbacks, no? Not at the moment. There's good room between the inner and outer. In the inner and outer. It's, it's always good. good to have room between good the inner and outer. It's always good to have a bit of room in the inner and outer. I can tell you that, Chris. Right, now I am going to tell you that you've got to be careful with this here. Right, this here, right, because this is tight. Yeah. Right, so you don't put your ass on it because you'll rip your tent. Yeah. I'm just telling you, that's, that, that is. So I'm going in now. Oh, oh, uh, uh, now I'm going to see your ass. Oh my goodness. Do you see how much room I've got? Yeah, we've got to go up more than that. Where's the inner? Go gear? right, you've got to go right up. Give me gear storage. Well, just get out there. I'm in the right place to put it up. Oh, you're I'm annoying. Oh, it looks like you've got a cut in yours. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's meant to be like that. There's a hole in the middle. That's for the toggle bank. That's for the light, light, light bulb to go in. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Or in case you get, you know, caught short in the middle of the night. What are you on about? Nothing. Ah, uh, yeah. I ain't got any sunglasses, so what am I going to store in this then? Your phone, your car I keys. My phone, I got it in me little satchel. Your, your phone, your car keys, your Johnny's. Car keys, that's a good point. Where are my car keys? Not. I've lost them. No. I've left them in the tent this morning. Uh, that goes through there. I don't know, because I can't quite see the camera angle. Yeah, it's in there. So, a door. We've got a door on a this door. one. All right. Zip, a, a zip out while you're in there. We'll hang, do, hang on, no, we're going to... Let's, let's do a little thing. We're going to do this door up. Find out if you like it or not. So how does this work then? Talk to through there. How does that work? I can't see the point of having that on there. Well, it might not be for that. Well, that's what it's for. How do you know? For the door. Idiot. What's that though? Through there, like that? What's that word like? Yeah, that's what? it. No, on? you... No, you pull it out. <laughs> Put it out, yeah. Right, and put it round the thing that's on the outside. Yeah, that's what I try to do. But why have the toggle on there? Why? Well, I, I don't like that. Look, that's it. Yeah, but why have the toggle? Well, I don't ask me quite stupid questions like that. I don't design this stuff. Because it's a dual layer. Look. So you one from like no. Look. What? Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Oh my days. So we've got a door. We've, we've got, got a door. Oh, it says no, no, no matches in this one. So no. I mean, lighter is good to go. I've got a little emblem here saying no matches. So does that mean I can use lighters? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. I've got plenty of room to do some cooking. <laughs> if Ken's feeling lazy. That's nice. Lee, you're the one that don't never cook. Here, so, uh, what about passing some gear in from the other tent then? Do you want to do that for me, no, cameraman? No, don't do I help. No. You don't want to help out well, Get your ass out of there, I ain't doing nothing. But I've only got, I've got to choose which door I'm going to go out now. <sighs> you're going to go out of the yellow door. The yellow door. Hello. So, uh, losing light. Got to pack the other tent away. So, am I going to put a guide ropes on this one today? Um, no. Don't think you need to, really. No, not for today, but I will tie them up before I leave so they're ready for the next camp because this one I'm keeping. This is a keeper, folks. How uh, do you know it's a keeper? Well, because I like the look of it and it got the feel of it. I didn't like the way that you had poles actually went into the So, you don't want to burn it then? No. £140, I think I'll keep one tent at least. Ah. So, yeah. The only major drawback so far on this one, I haven't slept in it, is the fact of the tent poles. Not happy with the fact that we haven't got a bit of cordage in there to help it pull it out. Out of three tents, they decided that only one tent was suitable enough to have guidelines. Okay, let's toggle in the inner then. Nope. Alright, what came with it then?